What's going on, guys? It's Crazy Tales One back for another 2K showcase. How to loyalty and disrespect. We have a friend online. <laughs> like today's episode, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and stay on to my channel. Where you last left off, it's right back to CM Punk and Hell in a Cell for debut title. Right back lost thanks to Brad Maddox. But Brad Maddox paid for it as well as CM Punk. So now we move on to John Cena CM Punk on Raw. Seeing I'm um, seeing and Punk square off again in a non tell match from Raw. So let's go. This man doesn't believe that Sia Puck had nothing to do with Brad Man. It's caused him right back to Tyler the Cell. So Vince sets up a triple threat match for WWE Championship Survivor Series. Sia Punk John Cena versus the man he cheated out of the title right back in the man who gave up his spot to Hell in the Cell, John Cena. Sia Punk is to put into a non-title match against John Cena. Just six nights before the triple threat match in Survivor Series. Here we go. <laughs> it's gonna get interesting. John Cena versus CM Punk. This contest is set for one fall. Being accompanied to the ring by Paul Heyman from Chicago, Illinois. Weighing 218 pounds, he is the WWE Champion. And Punk. King CM Punk is a lot of hot air, but one thing he's factual about, he's held the WWE Championship 350 days. Well, that's true, but will it continue come Sunday at Survivor Series? That's the one more, the 2013 one. That was the 2012 one, I believe. Now I'm John Cena again. Now I'm trying to remember what happened in this match. I remember Night of Champ. Yeah, okay. Survivor Series. But I forgot what happened in this match. 
Why is this match so important? What did they put in here for? I totally forgot. John Cena wreaking havoc. Collar and elbow tie up. Come on. Got him. See, this chain grappling just makes everything way more epic. Look at this, back and forth. Damn. Nobody wants to give an inch in this. Oh, I had it. CM Punk making a move. Uh. You know, CM Punk is now tied Diesel with the ninth longest title reign in history at 358 days. Damn it. And if he gets to Monday, he'll move into eighth place, passing Hulk Hogan's second reign. He does, though. So. you think of all the greats that CM Punk has passed during this amazing WWE title reign? Yeah, you're right. Many of them are Hall of Famers. I mean, names like superstar Billy Graham, Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels, and Stone Cold Boom. Steve Austin certainly stand out. Cena. He drops the elbow. Great offense by John Cena. Watch it. Ooh. It's easier just to go for the head because, you know, on that shuffle, you get the idea. This could be big. Cena channeling the emotion one more time. from ringside with the WWE Championship oh. firmly in his grasp. And of course, Heyman is no stranger to representing WWE Champions. Come on. King, in fact, Heyman became the first man to manage three WWE Champions in a row when he guided Brock Lesnar, Big Show, and Kurt Angle to the gold in 2002. And of course, Heyman saw many of his former EC wrestlers go on to later become WWE Champions. Eddie Guerrero. Here we go. Dam come to mind. And following Van Dam's championship victory over John Cena in 2006, Heyman presented him with the ECW championship. The intensity. Yeah, and now, let's talk about the that movie. The there you go. There's no advantage at all for the champion. In fact, there's a disadvantage. <laughs> Attitude adjustment. On the STF. They could have told me that. This has been so Why is he doing it again? It's my fault. She remembered. <laughs> Money in the Bank in Punk's hometown of Chicago. Punk beats John Cena for the WWE title and walked out of WWE, holding the company hostage. It was a night that changed WWE forever. And I have to admit, I thought that night Punk was making a huge mistake. But look at him now. He's been WWE champion for nearly a year. Once Survivor Series hit, it'll be a year. CM Punk was doing it as the voice of the voiceless, but we would later find out that Punk was doing it for himself. Well, as has been the norm of late, we have Paul Heyman at ringside. Look at him clutching the WWE Championship like it's a newborn baby. Oh, and a noted Paul Heyman guy, CM Punk has had Paul Heyman by his side for the past several weeks. By his side. Leg drive. That was perfect. They got executed. Paul Heyman would get a Paul, go again. Into Sunday's triple threat match, he can lose the title without even being involved in the decision. You know, you're right, King. Five knuckle shuffle on top. He's done. Here goes the STF. And look at Cena. Cena's got Punk in the STF, and the champ's in trouble. Oh, in trouble big time. This, this may be it. He may have to tap here, but wait, he's struggling, trying to get to the ropes. And Punk crawling to the ropes and makes it, and it's going to force the break. CM Punk made it to the ropes. We thought Cena had him beaten. CM Punk on the outside. He's hurt. He may have had a, enough of John Cena. Mm. CM Punk crawling away from the ring. And What's happening? I think, I think CM Punk wants to leave. Yeah, I don't think Punk wants anything to do with Cena, but, but look at this. Uh-oh. He's got nowhere to go. The roadblock that's Ryback. And now Punk trying to climb that wall, but Cena's got him back into the ring. Well, CM Punk tried his best to leave this match to get the heck out of here. But the roadblock Ryback stood in his way. The only thing, that's the only thing I hate about 2K Showcase. They don't give you all the objectives at once. 
which does make sense because if you don't complete the one you're supposed to, how can you get to the next one? If they would told me that sooner, I would have at least saved my finishers. What a fierce kick. Submission locked in tight. This could do it. Oh, man. Look at his face. The pain has to be crippling. Oh, crap. Crap. <laughs> Referee no sold that. He wasted no time going for that pin. Yeah, referee really did not sell that. What an impressive combination of moves. Again with the elbow. Hey, yeah. Oh. Well, it'll be interesting to see what happens when Ryback is thrown into this mix on Sunday. He seems unstoppable right now, but we also know John Cena. We've seen him for years. He can beat anybody. Yep. On any given day. And then you have to look at CM Punk. He's the champion, and there's no denying his abilities. Well, you know, CM Punk survived 358 days as the WWE champion. John Cena is a 10-time WWE champion, and of course, Ryback. He's the hottest thing going right now. Who's gonna win this? Here we go. I mean, Winner, Cole. You can't see me. Five knuckle shuffle. That's it. But all on the line. Oh yeah, this could be big. Here we go. John Cena Attitude adjustment. Come on. John Cena delivered another one. There you go. Pin him. One. Two, three. John Cena's pinned the champion. Oh my God. Cena's pinned the champion. And if that happens Sunday, we're going to crown a new champ. John Cena has done what CM Punk tried to tell the world was impossible. Yeah, but let's not forget that man. Yeah, Ryback is thinking if anyone's going to be, beat CM Punk, it's going to be him. But no, look at this. Triple threat rules come Sunday. Punk's title reigns in deep trouble. with the end game models see now that's just reversed Again, guys, thank you for watching another episode of 2K Showcase. That's loyalty and disrespect. Like today's episode, make sure to hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe to stay my channel. Thank you for watching. This is Creative Tales 1 signing off, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.